Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi 9T and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. And when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here. So let's stop on the arrow, go to the next page and select our desired language. So I'm going to scroll down to English and again tap on arrow, choose your region. Now for me the region is actually correct, so I'm going to stick with this one. Let's go to the next page and well, next page is uh, terms and conditions because that, that greets us better to the device like agreeing to terms and services uh, to use the device so obviously we do need to agree right here that we have read the entire thing and then we can progress further and here it will start looking for a sim card uh, assuming we have one if we don't it will just give us this message as you can see right here and you can either insert it and it will automatically detect it or you can just do that later on and not bother with it right now which is what i'm gonna do then on the next page we'll have the option to log in to our wi-fi uh, if we have one that we actually know the password to near us then yeah, go right ahead and do that if you don't you don't have to worry about it you can simply skip it and do that later on now if you skip it right now um it will give us uh one page that normally wouldn't be visible uh when you're when you would connect to wi-fi so that is uh, the uh, date and time settings now when you choose to skip it you will have to set it up manually uh, if you connect to wi-fi uh, the device will choose to uh, set it up automatically based on the internet and what information the internet tells us that that date and time is so i'm gonna skip it and you'll see the date and time soon probably now next page, before that we do have Google services with location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now we can read each one of them what it exactly does and if you don't like it, disable it. Uh, from there, scroll down, tap on accept and you can go to the next page where we have the option to set up a screen lock. So we have a fingerprint and screen lock only. Uh, so if you go with the fingerprint, you will also need to set up a screen lock. Uh, so that's why it tells us only screen lock below that instead of screen lock. So uh, you can choose one of those or well, two. And if you don't want to protect your device at all, you can tap right here to skip it. But I'm going to set up a pattern right here. So let's select the pattern. For some reason, it gives us a four second countdown to uh, with a message that we do need to remember our password like we were born five decades ago and we don't know that. So once you set up your pattern, pin, password, whatever it is, up on the arrows, continue. And we have some additional settings. Now, right here, I have one, one problem with this. And most of those I don't really care about personally. Uh, location, I mean, we already disabled this. Um, sending diagnostic data automatically. I mean, if you don't like it, you can disable it. It doesn't really change much. Uh, automatic system update, that's completely up to you if you want it or not. Uh, then user experience programs, that's something that I don't want, honestly. Uh, but as you've seen, I just disabled all of them and uh, none of them gave me any kind of problem. But hey, personalized ads. Ads that basically spy on you to give you ads based on what you search for on your device. Are you sure you want to disable this one? Because we really want your data. Yeah, I am fairly certain I don't like this. So once you disable it or keep it on depending on how you like it honestly and go further to select your default launcher now launcher is a weird term for it basically it you have two different options either the classic which is what i would compare to an iphone like experience where all your applications are smack in the middle of your home screen or the app drawer which is more typical of an android device uh, where you have several apps on the home screen and rest of them are hidden in the app drawer so choose whichever one you prefer more and then go further to complete your setup. Now, when you're completing it, it's gonna start loading apps. Give it a little bit of time for it to actually finish that. And once it has, we should see our home screen. And there we go. So that is how you could go through the setup of your phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.